All right, so we are out in Skyhold today doing the Mage Specialization Quest, Way of the Night Enchanter. Um, if you have invited your specialization trainers out here, but you haven't picked up the quest yet, what you want to do is head down these stairs over towards the medical tents where all the wounded soldiers are. And over here, you're going to find Commander Helene. She is the trainer that will start you on your quest. Hold and declare, Inquisitor. What do you mean? I ask your intent. I was summoned to oversee training, and I would know my charge. I am your commander in this matter. Commander Helene. And she's a little mouthy. Thank you for coming, Commander Helene. Commander will suffice, recruit. I teach the skills of the Knight Enchanter. It is a rank. It is a life. Understanding its hierarchy is the first step. You already know this. You were not made Inquisitor and then taught to lead. I will teach you how to rise to your place. How to join your warriors, spectral blade in hand. How to command the ranks while standing beside them. Are you ready? I'm ready to learn what you know. Then we will begin the simple steps, recruit. And we shall see what heights you reach. You have a task, a simple construction. Go, learn, and return. Soon you will lead from the front. Soon you will command. Okay, so let's go to our journal, and we are going to set that as our active quest, and then talk about what we need to do. So we first need to find a scroll called Writing on Night Enchanter Methods. Then we're going to go get three Wisp Essences and ten Lazarite. The scroll is actually located up where Vivian hangs out here in Skyhold. So the easiest way to get there is just to go to your quest map and go up to the third level here and go to this fast travel spot. Okay. Now come down here and you want to head out the door. Which is over here. Yeah, I took a long way around. And you want to cross the hall here head up. This is where Vivian likes to hang out and over here on her desk you're gonna find the scroll. Grab that and that is the way of the Night Enchanter. Now if you chose not to recruit Vivian and you just told Vivian when you met her, hey I don't like you, go take a hike. Um, you can also get this scroll from a vendor that is over in this room in Val Royo. So if you port to this spot right here in Val Royo, I will show you where that vendor is. Now obviously it's not going to be there right now for me because I just got it, uh, but I want to make sure that you know that just because you did not recruit Vivian, uh, you're not totally screwed uh, from becoming a Night Enchanter. Okay, so when you get here, you just want to hang a right and head Those back by the bar. Those who oppose thee shall know the wrath of heaven. What is a seeker of truth exactly? Uh, told you. Told you they'd be back. Well, they are not back. They will be. The order has a good name. Okay, so when I originally showed you the map, there was only one vendor present. If you look now, there's two. Okay, and it's this merchant up front that sells, like, um, codex entries and, and um, these uh, specialization books uh, for you if in, you have made a decision in the game that's made them unobtainable for some reason. So if you go to buy and then you go over to the book tab, you would fi have found that um, way of the uh, the writing on the Night Enchanter methods here in this list. Obviously it's not here because I already found it because I chose to recruit Vivian, but as I said, I did want to show you that you have another option so you're not totally screwed if you decide not to recruit her. So we will go on the hunt for Wisp Essences in just a moment. Hey, what's up everybody? We're back. We're out in the Fallow Mire and we're looking for Wisp Essences. Now, if you don't know how to get to the Fallow Mire, you can't find it on your map or your war table, what you want to do is go to your war table, go to the Ferelden side of the map, that's the right hand side of the map, go all the way down south end of the map and you're going to find a little pyramid down there that says something to the effect of risk, uh, rescue missing soldiers in Ferelden. That is actually going to take you to the Fallow Mire when you unlock it. Once you get out there, 
You're going to start at Fisher's End Camp, and that's where we will begin our hunt for our first of three Wisp Essences. Now, you may already have Wisp Essences. Uh, they do drop from the little wraiths. Uh, those are the little green Slimer guys that you see popping out of rifts here and there. You may have run across them out in the Hinterlands or Storm Coast when you were closing rifts. Uh, you can absolutely farm them for the wisp essences uh... it just so happens that you know just like all other um, of the yellow items that somewhat look like creature research items uh... it you know they just don't drop all that frequently their guys are sometimes stingy about it and bioware has put three specific packs of wisps in the game out in the fallow mire that do drop the wisp essences for this quest so um, my recommendation is come out here first and see if you can't get it out here first before you waste time going anywhere else. So without further ado, we will go get our first Wisp Essence. So from the uh, from the Fisher's End Camp, you're actually just going to make your way kind of southwest here and right down in this area, and this is where you're going to find your first group of Wisps that you need to deal with. Now, they are level 12, just like absolutely everything else out in this zone. So that's something to be aware of when you're headed out here. Um, I know I've been trying to give you guys tips on what to do if you're playing on Nightmare and you're too low level to uh, come to a certain zone and, uh, you know, farming rifts uh, for uh, things that are of your level, uh, you know, uh, wraiths that are your level might be the best way to go about doing it, although it may take, uh, may take quite a while because they are not, uh, they do not make it easy to get that stuff to drop from the rates. Uh, if you're not paying attention to it and you don't care about it, you find that it drops all the time. Uh, when you look in your inventory, you got stuff you don't even need. Uh, but when you need it, uh, man, it's hard to get it to drop. So I've definitely tried farming it, and it's not something that's fun. So uh, hopefully uh, you can hang uh, out for a while and just uh, wait till you get out to the Fallow Mire when you're of level, or uh, you know maybe just. Well, level 11 versus level 12, but you can see this is all level 12 stuff out here. So, uh, and best of luck to you if you're playing on Nightmare. Uh, I don't really have many good tips for you with that regard. As with all of these fights, you know, there's always a group of them, and they, uh, you know, the majority of them are easy to take down, but there's always that one that's a little harder than the rest. Just so happens that this bog fisher was out here in the way. So, that's the first one. We're going to go ahead and loot and grab our first Wisp Essence. So, you can see it's kind of that yellow color, just like all the uh, creature research items, but it's not a creature research item. So, grab this, and we'll be back in just a sec with our second one. All right, so we're back out in the Fallow Mire. We're looking for a second of three Wisp Essences. Now, in order to get to this one, your best starting point is probably going to be down here at Old Thoroughfare Camp. Uh, where's that at in relation to where you came in the zone? So, this is Fisher's End Camp. Here's your first beacon. Here's your second beacon, and here is Old Thoroughfare Camp. So we're going to start here, and these next two packs are actually going to be hanging out around landmarks you're going to find out in the Fallow Mire. So the next pack is actually down here near this landmark. So that's where we're going to head from, or head out to from Old Thoroughfare Camp. So let me uh, drop a marker down there, and we will be on our way. Inquisitor. Now me, I really like to, uh, just, if you have to walk through the water, just, 
if you don't want to fight this stuff, once again, you know, if you're coming out here and you're not up level and level 12 is too much for you to deal with in general, uh, uh, you know, step in the water if you have to and then just, uh, you know, run away from the stuff if you don't want to deal with it. So you can see over here, here's what we're looking for, the red dots. Uh, we just got to get around to that other side. I just don't like walking right through the middle of stuff because you wind up having to deal with uh, more combat than is necessary. So we'll head in here and we will take out our rifts. Goodbye! always that one, so these are pure wisps. Uh, the other ones were just wisps, but uh, we were having to kill, they were so much easier. Alright, so that's it. Grab our second Wisp Essence, and we'll be back in just a second with our third. Uh, before I leave you, let me uh, just show you real quick uh, the path we took to get down here. So I just kind of hung a right, uh, or hung a left rather, uh, along the edge of the mountains here, and then popped up. It's it's better than going this path here because you avoid uh, a good bit. Of, I'm not gonna say a good bit of combat, but you you avoid uh, five or six guys you might have to fight on the way, just depending on what the spawns look like uh, in your playthrough. So uh, I just think this is kind of a better path if you're uh, on some of the higher level difficulties. So well, as I said, we will be back in just a sec with number three. All right, we're back. We're out in the Fowl Mire, and we're looking for our final Wisp Essence. Uh, this one is actually going to be located in some relative proximity to the final beacon that you find out here, the fourth and final beacon that you find out here. So where is that at? Here is Fisher's End Camp. Here's your first beacon. Here's your second beacon, and here's old Thoroughfare Camp. This is where we started uh, for the second one. We came down here uh, in order to do the uh, pick up our second Wisp Essence, and you know you can make your way up and around here. Uh, you'll see you, here's your third beacon, here's your fourth beacon. Uh, you know my suggestion is honestly just pick up the beacons because it makes questing out here so much easier. Even if you're not ready to quest out here, if you can do it. Uh, it's worthwhile if you can't handle the enemies that pop up when you do the beacons you know just make your way past them it, nothing's gonna auto spawn on you when you get close to them but uh, what I don't believe you can do is get across this water directly and that's only because the um, I think you drowned uh, I believe I've tried it in the past and I just wound up getting myself killed so just a FYI on trying to make it across in this direction uh, what you're trying to do is once again get down by this landmark it's here by this little lighthouse so we will uh, put our map marker down here and head in that direction. Alright, so we are currently at the fourth and final beacon and we're just going to head southeast over to this uh, landmark and see if we can't scare up our last group of wraiths. So you can see there's a wraith already hanging out down here. Um, it's possible that he could give you your wisp essence because they do drop it. He's just not a guaranteed drop like the uh, pure rates are. So you can see him. They just spawned out there in front of us. So we're going to head out there and deal with them.
right, that is it. This guy is going to give us our third and final Wisp Essence. And we will be back in just a sec and go hunt down some Lazurite. All right, we're back and we're on the hunt for 10 Lazurite. Now, I have a couple recommendations for you on this. Uh, first thing you want to do, come to your war table, go to the overlay side of your map, and head up to this pyramid. It says stop venatory activity in the west. Costs 20 power to unlock. It's going to open up the zone, the hissing wastes. I know it's 20 power, but you're going to have to unlock it anyways. So do it now. It's going to help you out. What you want to do is unlock it, travel to the hissing wastes, and then come right back to Skyhold. You don't have to do anything out there. If you're only level 8, it's much higher level out there than what you are. So just come on back here, and when you come back to your war table, you're going to find this mission called Hissing Wastes Resources. When you look at it, you're going to have an option to send all your advisors out. What you want to do is send Cullen out there. It's about a 12 to 13 minute mission, and when Cullen comes back, he's going to have some Lazarite for you. Okay. Now, while he's doing that, what you want to do is also unlock this section, which is called the Western Approach. This is about 8 power to unlock as well. We're going to travel out here, okay, and while Cullen is off finding a few bits of Lazarite for us, we're going to go drum up a few on our own, and between the two of us, we should be able to come up with 10 Lazarite. Um, out here in the Western Approach, it is out here. Um, there's like a geological survey requisition out here that wants you to gather like 20 Lazarite. Um, it's just, you know, there's a ton of Paragon's Luster out here. And as far as, you know, in my opinion, there's not a ton of Lazarite to be found. You really have to hunt it down. And in so doing, depending on what your level is, uh, this can be really ugly. So if you're uh, playing on Nightmare, you're only level 8. Uh, this is definitely level 10 plus out here. Hey, if you don't want to deal with this zone, just sit back and let Cullen run his uh, his way, his uh, resource mission a couple times. Get your Lazarite and be done. Um, if you think you can handle it or you're a higher level, pop out here. And when you get out here, you're going to start at the Lost Spring Canyon camp. What you're going to do is make your way down here towards the south. Uh, first obstacle you're going to run into is right here. It's going to be a rift, level 10 demons, uh, the second wave. Uh, can be a little nasty depending on your level and your difficulty, so watch out for that. If you can get past that, the next obstacle you're going to run into is probably some zombie demon dog that seems to respawn every time they come out here. So no matter how many times you kill him, he seems to come back from the dead. Um, uh, he's really not a big deal, but I only mention him because I just think it's funny that every single time I'm out here I run into that damn dog. <coughs> But uh, you kind of look over here, you can see there's a ton of Paragon's Luster out here. Oh, look, there's the dog. Uh, there's a ton of Paragon's Lust, but uh, there's not a ton of Lazarite. One down! Okay, so uh, we're going to continue down in this direction. And we are going to head into a couple mines slash caves you're gonna find out here uh, one is right here and the one and then one is right next to it uh, for this one you want to make sure you have a mage with you because this little ramp here is like an energize operation for a mage so they have to go up there and energize it and it brings the planks down and opens up that little mine but uh, if you come down in this one there's a possibility that you'll find one I uh, know one lazarite uh, no, down in here. Um, occasionally, wildlife wanders in here, but outside of that, it's usually barren uh, or devoid of enemies. Um, okay, so the Lazarite node, right here. Grab that. Uh, got really lucky with that. That's six. Um, head back out of here, and I'm going to show you where two more. Uh, potentially are. I, I say potentially because you know how spawns are in various playthroughs and different people's games. They're not always guaranteed. So I'll show you where I found some of mine, and then uh, you know just cross your fingers and I hope you find it in the same place. If not, 
uh, to definitely run that resources mission and he should be good so here's more Lazar right here and man that filled it up so we don't even have to worry about uh, Cullen but uh, in case you didn't find it there is another stack of it uh, just past here but you do have to go through all of these spiders to get at it so we go through this and just show it to you because I don't want to leave you hanging with stuff that you you don't uh, you know if you didn't get everything you need and also watch out because yeah he does wander in behind you sometimes And that's not all the spiders that are in here, man. So just keep on heading back here. You're going to find some more. There's some poison ones. What that one is. And there are occasionally some, like, weird bugged ones that hang out back over here. Uh, so just... FYI, um, when you're walking through here, just keep your eyes out for them. But anyways, if you head up here on the right, you may find another Lazarite um, deposit. Yeah, it's it's here. So we'll grab that, and that's about it. So uh, I pff, I'm getting really lucky pulling those things out, finding uh, you know six, six, and four. But uh, I don't know how. Not how lucky you might be with that stuff. So I wanted to at least show you three uh, spawn points out here. And then uh, I will take you back to Skyhold. And uh, Cullen's got to be done by now or real close to it. So we'll go check out that War Table mission. See what he brought us back. And then go from there. All right, so we're going to head up here, pop in the war room. Worship. Let's see what Colin's got for us. And not that we need it, but you know, I just want to kind of show you what you could be expecting. So, pop onto this, yeah. and he has six Lazarite for us. So, that, once again, this is another way you can get it. Uh, you can just run the Hissing Waste resources with Cullen. Brings you back some Lazarite. If you do this twice, that gets it for you if you really can't get down in there and uh, you're not successful trying to get those three nodes I, shown you, or I showed you. Once you get it though, what you want to do is head down to the requisition table in Skyhold. Right? So go to our quest map, and we're going to go down to the second level, and then we're going to go over here. Alright, we're going to head in this door, check out the table, and then here is the Spirit Blade Hilt. Now, we've been gathering all these items, the book, the Lazarite, the Wisp Essence, to fill a requisition order. That's what it comes down to. We're going to select this, we're going to craft it, and then once you have it, you need to go back and talk I to hope the it trainer. Helps. So, um, you know, that's kind of the missing step for a lot of people. Uh, some people finish the quest, and they go back and talk to their trainer, and can't figure out why they cannot get uh... their specializations worked out and it's because you gotta go do that requisition and fill the requisition first and then you come back and talk to your trainer you have completed the order learn something of my way a small step now you must choose to commit to the role to the burden of command are you willing okay so now you can see there's this 
you know, strange, like, uh, you know, opaque white overlay over top of the normal dialogue op uh, option uh, radial. Um, I choose to, I choose Knight Enchanter. It says, commit to the Knight Enchanter specialization. All the specializations cut off. What does that mean? That means even if you have taken all the other specialization quests, you've gathered all of the materials, you've done all the requisitions, um, and you're ready to take any one you want, once you take one of them, the others are permanently locked out for you for the rest of the game. And you cannot change your mind. You can't respec into something else. It just doesn't work that way. Once you make this decision with any one of the three trainers and say, I choose, you know, insert specialization here, that's it. Uh, even if you go to the blacksmith and grab the necklace and uh, reset your skill points, it will reset skill points, but it will, will not reset this choice. So be very careful when you're making this choice. Make sure you've done your research uh, and you know what you really want to go with. Uh, but right now we're going to choose, I choose Night Enchanter. I'm ready to listen and learn, Commander. Then you are a recruit no more. All will see your rightful place. Come, the battlefield awaits. Night Enchanter. All right, and that is it. So Way of the Night Enchanter has been completed. Uh, please leave your questions, comments under the video or put them in the discussion of the channel. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, if you found it helpful, I'd really appreciate a sub or a like on the video. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care.